I slept in the back back here last night and it's not too bad it doesn't exactly fit me back there uh, I have to sleep sideways like point to point essentially um, not straight front to back but um, yeah so it was okay I got kind of cold last night because I don't have my uh, really good winter gear with me the uh, zero degree bag that I have is back at home all I have is a um, it's like a 35 or 40 degree bag it's, it's really meant for summertime but uh, I did pick up a blanket like <clears throat> a weighted blanket but also uh, I think going from 85 degrees during the day to you know it's like 75 here during the day some, some days but uh, at night gets down in like the 40s and just the weather change, I mean, it's just different. It's kind of got my uh, throat kind of messed up right now, but, and uh, feeling a little weird today, but, eh, you know, it's life, it's whatever. But, beautiful scenery. Can't complain too much with that. We got 57 miles to Homer. Once we get there, we're gonna turn around. I mean, we're gonna explore Homer the best we can, obviously. But from there, we'll turn around and the road trip actually begins to uh, uh, Puno Bay, I think is what, how they say it. Um, and I just want to, you know, explore anything that looks interesting on the way back up. I, I kind of passed some stuff on the way down, uh, knowing that I'll probably stop on the way back. But uh, I also may go by Walmart if I can find one and uh, get a, a zero degree sleeping bag or something like that. So I'm more comfortable at night. Um, and maybe like a mattress topper. But Jeep's doing good so far. She's trucking along. But all right, let's go. See you guys. drives down like out like an island off this into this bay I th I'm pretty sure this is the the Cook Bay or Cook Canal I, th yeah, I think it's the canal but it's just surrounded by mountains very impressive very busy though there is tons of people down here holy cow they're everywhere but pretty cool I'm gonna take it till it dead ends and then turn around. Start make, making my way back. Well, this is it. Lands in. <clears throat> it all just ends into a, uh, I guess, a hotel. And there's a restaurant. Yeah. I'm literally on the very furthest point, there's a, a <laughs> there's a hotel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go figure that people would industrialize the very tip of the land with a hotel that, that is uh that's great but let's go over here and see what kind of pictures we can get
Well, guys, we made it. We're at the southern point of Alaska that you can drive to in Homer. I don't think you can drive anywhere else that's even further south than this, but I could be wrong. Somebody will probably correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But I looked at the map and I couldn't find another road that took you any further south. Everything else is by boat or plane. So I'll look at it a little bit more, of course, just to double check. But it's busy here, to be expected. Lots of boats, but some good pictures. Uh, kind of windy, so I don't know how much wind is getting picked up right now. But it's definitely beautiful. See, I like I like this a little more than Hawaii personally, but that's just me. So I'll see you guys up ahead. Alright guys, so we're at Anchor Point, which I didn't know about. This is the uh, actual most western point of North America. North America's most westerly highway point, to be exact. So, yeah, here we go. We fixed it. We figured it out. We made it. This is what it looks like. It's a campground. Lots of people. But beautiful views. On a clear day, you can see five active volcanoes on the Pacific Ring of Fire from here. Jeez. <clears throat> That's awesome.
Hey guys, I'm in Seward, Alaska. I finished up over in Homer and uh, headed over this way today. Haven't been feeling the best, so kind of just taking it easy and moving slow, you know. But I think I slept most of today, and then for the past few hours, I've been traveling down here to get pictures in Seward. But out here on the bay right now, it's uh, it's gorgeous. Some whales out here popping their heads out. It's interesting, but probably just got a little sinus infection or sore throat or something. It'll probably pass here in a day or two. But anyways, hope you guys are enjoying the scenery so far. We're gonna keep on going. Well, if it had any usable parts off of it, <clears throat> then I would, uh, take something, but <laughs> it's like other people have damaged this thing like crazy. Yeah. 